say a few words about it first, and then if you do go over it. This candle you're about to light is a candle of marriage. This fire is magical because it represents the light of two people in love. This is, the candle before you is a candle of commitment because it takes two people working together to keep a flame alive. This candle is also a candle of unity. You both must come together, giving a spark of themselves to create a new life. As you light this candle today, may the brightness of this flame shine throughout your lives. May it give you courage and reassurance in the darkness, warmth and safety in the cold, and strength and joy in your bodies, minds, and spirits. May your union be forever blessed. May the sun bring you new energy by day, and the moon softly restore you by night. May the rain wash away your worries, and may you live the days of your lives in peace, love, and happiness. Uh, all right, let's try this. Let's try this. Why don't I use this again? <laughs> well, I'll go out some more. Yeah. 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 Well, that would be bad, kind of having a little barrier, the whole family. You know what, my suggestion is to go ahead with the ceremony and maybe go do it inside afterwards. Okay, so it's good. Are you people getting yeah. cold? You want to continue no, inside? No, no, I mean after, after, after. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> I offer the words of William Peterson, The Art of Marriage, who I believe captured these words and the essence of things by which to live for successful marriage. The little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you each and every day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end in honeymoon continue through all the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together, facing the world, forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in many thoughtful ways. It is not expecting the husband to wear a halo or the wife to have the wings of an angel. It is not looking for perfection in the other person. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and once again, a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget, give each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding room for the things of the spirit common search for the good and the beautiful, establishing a relationship in which the independent and equal, dependent as individuals, but the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, but it's being the right partner. This is the art. It is love that brings us here today. It is love that makes yours a glorious year. It is a journey no two have traveled before. It is unique to you. Roy and Brooks, you have publicly declared you will live together in marriage. You have made special promises to each other in your vows. By the authority vested in me by the state of Wisconsin, I pronounce you husband and wife.
with greatest pleasure, I present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Roy and Brooks. Yay. Elizabeth, as you suggested, do you want to take the candles inside to, to light them? Um, why don't we do that when we sign up the marriage license? Okay, inside? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So take some pictures now. Hey guys, you can walk this way and we'll have a reception room. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how about down there? Yeah. Congratulations! Congratulations. Beautiful. Congratulations.